What's going on YouTube? Today we are going to be going over the Cold War AK-47. This in my opinion is the best class right now and the best gun from short to long range. This gun does it all. If you guys are afraid of the recoil or velocity of the bullets, don't worry. Grab this bad boy, give it a shot, you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the breakdown. So the muzzles. I'm going with the Groove Suppressor for sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. If you see the stats right there, it increases your accuracy, damage, and range, of course, like it claims. Mobility's down, you don't notice that. Control is down, you don't notice it, trust me. This muzzle is what you want on your gun. If you don't have it yet, work your way up until you unlock it, because this thing helps a lot. Next thing is the barrel. I use the 18.2 VDV reinforced barrel for effective range and bullet velocity. This thing is like ultimate power. Look look how much it jumps my damage up. This thing's insane. You could use the 20 inch liberator for bullet velocity, but in my opinion, it slows you down a little bit more, even though there's a little crease of mobility, but the damage isn't as good as the reinforced. So that's that's the reason why I use it, and that's my opinion, but if you guys want to try it, of course, give it a shot. Maybe it'll be better for you. For the optic, I prefer the Vision Tech two times. I'm not really a scope guy, but... On a few of my guns, I do have scopes, and I want this to be an all-around purpose gun from short to long, so I slap the Vision Tech on it. I do not have any complaints about that whatsoever. I skipped over the stock for right now. I skipped over the rear grip. If I decide to take off my optic, I'll put a rear grip on it, maybe the Spetsnaz, but for right now, I'm leaving that be. My ammo. I am unfortunately using the 45 round speed mag. I'm saying unfortunate because it slows down your aim down sight quite a bit. In my opinion, I don't have a problem with that if I'm happy with, you know, the ammo size and the speed of it. I was using the Gru mag right here, which, you know, was just as good. And so, I I honestly might go back for it, <clears throat> back to it. But right now, I'm using the 45 round speed mag, and I might stick with it for a little bit, give it a few more tries, see how it goes. If not, I'll go ahead and put on that other mag. Then for f under barrel, I'm using just a regular foregrip. That helps with the horizontal recoil. But when I unlock it. Soon, I'm going to put the Spetsnaz grip on it because it helps vertical and horizontal recoil. And I want to test that out to see if it's actually better than what I'm using now and if I notice a difference. But for right now, this is my loadout. Give it a shot. Put the same attachments on as I have it. You guys won't be let down with this at all. Just grab it. Give it a shot. Give it a few games, you know. I mean... Some guns you won't really know unless you give it a few game time period to see how it is. But I, I don't really think you'll need that much time to notice how good this gun is. Especially with enemies up close and just how quick it shreds through their armor. But let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Thank you guys for watching this. And let's get into it. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Let's go. Got him, knocked him, knocked him. Is that? Oh shoot, guys right here. Guys on it? Yep, they're on me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I'll, I'll buy you back after loadout. Lay 
down or up? There's two people on my thing. They're oh, shit. behind. Oh, my body. Nice. Uh, there you go. He's right. Here. This shit. Good stuff, boy.